finished two books that I'm currently working on. Hello there, folks. These are the hands of me, Dan Brown, from a sort of interesting life.com. And today we're going to have a quick unboxing and quick setup and look at the Microsoft Universal Mobile Keyboard, which I have bought to go with my iPad here. As basically, you may have seen one of my recent other videos on the MacBook Pro case that I've bought, as I'm currently trying to finish a book for January and then. Hopefully in the next six months I'm basically going to finish two books that I'm currently working on. I thought I would finally get myself a proper keyboard to go with the iPad as I've literally written two books and an awful lot more on the on-screen keyboard on the iPad. Admittedly only short books of around 30,000 words or so but still I thought finally as I'm doing an awful lot more writing now than even I have been doing over these last few years I would get a proper keyboard. So I looked at cheap keyboards, I looked at expensive keyboards, I looked at all sorts of different brands and I thought in the end that based on a lot of other reviews that this one was probably going to be the best one. Now this, I'm not sure what the retail price is but even with a good discount it still cost me from Amazon just under 50 quid and again prices on Amazon don't quote me on that because they go up and down left right and centre as you're probably familiar. If we open this up here then wow well, that's very nice. If I bring that just slightly closer for you to have a look I'm sure you're very thrilled and excited to see the inside of the box there. So if we pop this out you can see the keyboard itself wrapped up in the um, cellophane. In fact we'll just have a check what else we've got in here. We've got a micro USB cable there for charging and nothing particularly exciting here, just the usual little bits of information and I'm assuming a quick guide of how to set it up. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward and simple. Now if we actually get into the keyboard itself, what we actually are here to see properly Oh, that's interesting. It's got a sort of very grippy rubber feel there and also these rubber feet on the bottom have instantly got it quite a solidly. It's not going to slip very easily if you... yeah, I'm happy with that already. I, but one of the things that did uh, attract me to this keyboard as well was the fact that you've got this top cover that acts as the case and also stand for various tablets. Oh, we've already got a light on there. I'm not sure what on earth's going on. Um, so Without actually having a proper look at this, let's have a look. How are we going to set this up? We want this onto iPhone and iPad for a start. If we go into settings and Bluetooth, I assume, universal mobile keyboard. I'm not sure if you can see any of what's going on here. Uh, enter the code. Well, that really was as simple as typing in a number that it told me to on there. So I can't really say uh, much about that. And now I've had a quick play around of it. I can say that we've got simple options like the home button there to go to the home button. Double tap escape to fetch up the app switcher there. Um, and yeah, there's quite a few different things. We've even got a search button here so we can go straight to search. And I believe if you hold down the home button. Hello Siri, how are you today? And you can see, obviously, here we have got the um, hold down home to speak to Siri. So that's all very good. So if we quickly go to pages and just try a little bit of typing, if I say, hello, how are you? Then you can see that's pretty much as simple and straightforward as you expect a keyboard to work. It acts and reacts immediately, so that's all good. And obviously, because we've got all the things like command, option, control, all of those uh, keys, if we command A, then we can select all. And you've basically got your standard keyboard shortcuts as if it was a desktop PC. So I suppose our final thing should be to just pop this off, have a look at how the iPad sits in it, which is... Not bad at all, I've got to say, I'm impressed with that. It's also got a slight lip there, so you can lift it up slightly and have it really low down, but that's still well um, secure compared to how sort of precarious it looks. It's actually well held in. So again, something I'm very happy with. 
and hopefully this is going to lead to many, many hours of very pleasant writing, which I hope you'll all check the links in the description to uh, catch up on my previous books about boat life and goodness knows what else. On that note, I will say thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos for loads of life on the canal and the great outdoors and a lot less techy stuff like this, unfortunately, although I have got an Apple Watch strap uh, video coming up soon. And until the next time, though, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it key-worthy, keep it boat-worthy, and of course, farewell.